We know Adam Reynolds is out of this big clash, and you'll hear the call tomorrow night. The Panthers taking on the Broncos in what I think is the rematch of one of the greatest games I've ever seen. Yeah, I, I think it is the best game I've ever, ever seen in its entirety. Payne Haas is now out of the grand final rematch as well against the Panthers. Kevy Walters had this to say in the media presser today on the absence of the big man. No, he won't be playing tomorrow night. He's still got some, some problems there with his knee, so we'll get that looked at uh, this afternoon. And the doctors will have a look at it and give us a bit better diagnosis of where he's at. Okay, um, what does that mean, Brian, for you? Uh, the job's gotten very hard. Uh, uh, look, he his first couple of weeks, you could see he was hampered by it, so yep. he hasn't had that usual impact. But look, the, the, uh, we all know how hard it is to score against the Panthers, so we might be seeing something different tomorrow, I'm thinking. Right. I'm thinking, cause the way Kevy was speaking, he goes, look, we, we like to play a sort of high-risk game. Oh, I've got an idea for him. So you do have an idea for him. <laughs> so I think we might be seeing a little bit of uh, some funky sort of stuff. Really? Some little chip and chases. Why not? Some little Reese Walsh magic playing. We saw what he did the other yep. day when he played it through the middle. So there's an old play called a Raiders play. Oh, yeah. Where the dummy half, we, this is what we used to do. Mm. Adrian Lamb would go to dummy half. Yeah. He would scoot out to his right. Brad Fittler would come back on an angle. Yeah, under. And, yeah, and you'd have Andrew Walker on the other side of the ruck going straight Lovely. up the Trying middle. Trying to catch the lazy side. The yeah, Lazy side. Susan yep. at a defender. Love that. I can see that. Beautiful coming. eyes on the other side. And we were watching. Who scored the game? It was in. Oh, it was Manly. Manly did that old Newcastle in round one. Remember yep. Newcastle had the. Matty Johns would dummy to uh, Hertzi Muir. Yep. And then it was the same. Oh, sort yeah, of, back up the middle. Back up the up, middle. Up through the gate. Um, Robbie O. Yes. So it was like a double cross. Yeah. It's hard to explain. No, but there's, it's like going through the gate, isn't Correct. it? Correct. I love that it play. Was a, and no one ever would. Matty and no. I, I used to, they used to call it Next Johnny. I said, Matty, why don't teams do that? No, he goes, why? I don't know. They did it once in the opening game. It was awesome. They scored from it. Yeah. So uh, maybe we're going to see some these little trick shots coming. Mick Gillette had this play, and he scored off it so much or set it up where it was simple run around. He would call a legitimate run around from the half or the dummy half. Yeah. He'd be 5'8". Eight. They'd be flying around, and he'd literally just pour at the A. Yep. And then myself or, or whoever the fullback was, straight up the middle, similar to the Andrew Walker one. The Raider. Yeah. It's called the Raider. It was a good play. We'd sc- yeah, we'd score all the time for that. That was the good old days. I love that, Brian. Um, Thank you. So he has carried this knee injury into training this week. Uh, James Fisher-Harris is out too, which, yeah. which does help. It affects... Brisbane more. Of course. Doesn't it? Yeah. Doesn't it? I, mean, I, I was asking uh, the Get'em On Side boys this today, Brian. If you're Kevy Walters, so there's two big outs, Payne Haas at the moment and Adam Reynolds. Yes. If everyone was fully fit, but you had to take two players out of the contest. Who's oh, where are we going? Who's the last two Kevy would want out? Carrigan and Walsh. No, sorry. Reynolds and Walsh? Reynolds and Walsh, yeah. Or, or Haas and Walsh. Reynolds, uh, no, nah, Reynolds and Walsh. Reynolds and Walsh would be the last two he'd want out in a big yes, game. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. It's a big question, isn't it? And That's it's a, a good, good one question. to have. Were you thinking about that when you were wearing your sleep mask? <laughs> That's Enjoy right. life? That's right. It's I mean, uh, oh, it's got all these weird little things. Yeah. It does look very erotic. Because you've got to take that out when you're going to wash it, see? Is this a hint? No. Do <laughs> you, you want to come for a spa, you, right? You, you, you want me and Rick coming down, hanging out in the, in the spa. Yeah. And you turn the heat up really hot. Oh, that's right. Which is a known uh, aphrodisiac. Oh, yes. Exactly right. Uh, yes. one three hundred oh one eleven seventy. Former Rooster Fletcher Baker. Yes. He comes into the side. Good player. He's going to start. Xavier Willison comes onto the bench. Willison. And uh, Pat Carrigan, huge last week. 222 metres. How does he make so many metres every week and not score tries? It's got to be a mental thing, doesn't it? How do you not score tries, but every week you've got no problem getting from the 40 line to the 50 line? Easy. 50 line to the 40 on the other side. Yep. 40 to the 30. But what is it about the 10 to well, the he's 0? Not, he's not pushing up. with. That's where you've got to push up. Push with, up. Push up with the little on big coming yep. out of your own trouble. Big on little when yeah. you get down the end. That's my philosophy. Oh, your philosophy's outstanding. As I said, catch the match live on SEN tomorrow night. 
from 7 p.m. That's 6 p.m. Queensland time, the 2023 Grand final rematch. It's going to be a bumper crowd out there at Penrith. I mentioned James Fisher-Harris is out. Lindsay Smith, who's a gun, he's going to come in to partner Moses Leota, who's found the trial on in recent times. Dane Laurie's named on the bench. What's the plan for Dane Laurie, Brian? Yeah, don't know. Just never got on last week, did he? Is it a bit like the cogger peace of mind just having him just there? Just having something which I thought South would have done. South needed a bit of peace of mind. Yeah. I, I thought, thinking about it today, should have they kept Lockie Ilias on the bench yeah. just in case... Anyway. I suppose the backup plan is you, you do have Co- Jack Cody and Jack Watton. Is the backup plan. Uh, could Jack Watton play halfback or no? Everyone's uh, talking about Cody going there, but could Jack Watton actually play halfback? Um, yes. Yeah. Of course he could. Well, who, who would be, the be-, could. Who would be a, better equipped to play halfback, Jack Watton or Cody? Cody, I reckon. You reckon? You, you, know, want, you want him being a free spirit? Well, maybe you, you could just you could play them both. Hybrid. Yeah, hybrid call hybrid. on the left. Yep. He just. Get, well, what are you doing at first receiver? You, you're going to the line. You've got a front row. This is how South do it. You've got a front row going at the line, and you're passing. It's all about that time and getting out the back to Cody. Yep. That's all you're doing. Yep. So yes, Jake yes he could. could yes it. he could. Maybe that's an option. Maybe that's an option. No, Hawko's gonna play good. Football Dean. Footy Dean. Have you heard why they call him Footy Dean? Footy Dean from the YouTube. Yeah, and they can't get it down no. because he's lost the password. It's awesome. Oh. So he started when he was oh. 10 years of age. And he wants it down. He wants it down badly. <laughs> and he's lost the password, so he can't take it down. So all the South boys are just into him, hence Footy Dean. Oh, that's, that's outstanding. Got I've know, got one on Red Tube that I'm trying to do that I can't get out. <laughs> but, I mean, that, yeah, that glory hole. Gee, get uh, that glory hole. What, you know, they Hello to the Giants, by the way. They're, yeah, out, there, they're, they're out there, up there, because they alien the tourists can be bought. He's wearing the Giants hat. Yeah, you You've suck. got the Giants scarf. You suck. Um, <laughs> and um, they used to call... It, it, you know what, right? I was talking to the Tigers about Lockie Galvin, and they said, this kid is so confident. Oh, okay. And at the time, it sort of can be seen as abrasive to some yeah. of the older statesmen. But I'll never forget when his coach right now, Benji Marshall, first turned up. And he hadn't played a first grade game, and he's signing things with a crown above his name. They hadn't played first grade, right? Cool. He'd get out of the shower and he'd put oil, lather himself up. And there was just this, he wasn't meaning to be a. Was he watching my video when I was. <laughs> yeah, he was. Was he was. And, but he wasn't meaning to be. It's just who he was. He yeah. was just this innate confidence. And Lockie Galvin's walking around with his hat back and he's so confident. And, mate. I think the kid's just going to be a gun. Ben Galea used to do that, and it was abrasive to the people. And now he's one of the most loved players in the club. At first, the older people don't take to that no. super confidence from a kid, do well, they? Well, they don't until you get the runs on the board, yeah. and then you start thinking, oh, geez, he's going to help my game. Correct. This kid, he's going to help me get my match payments, yep. my wins. Crown away. Yeah. Crown away. So Galvin's going to be a superstar. I've got no doubt about that. Uh, Brian Toto, he scored 16 tries from his past 14 games, so he's having a sneaky, cheeky run. Happy 100th to Corey Jensen, who's having a terrific career as well. Warriors take on the Raiders again. You'll hear that on SEN. Don't forget, you get that on um, first game of the round on the Thursday night. You'll hear that call on SEN, and so to the first game on the Fridays. Uh, both of those following the run home with Joel and Fletch. Undefeated the Raiders. They head to Christchurch. The winless Warriors, who we said with Kirsty and the Beef, Brian, they have to be the most inform 0-2 yeah. team we've almost ever seen. Apollo Project Stadium was sold out weeks ago as the South Island gets behind the Wars, and they also want to get a team down there as well, we're told. Ricky Stewart coaches his 250th match for the Raiders. He won, um, yes, he loves a milestone match. I think he won his 200th game, Brian. He was playing. Mm. Yeah. No, well, he'll be, they would be, he wouldn't be talking about that at all. I think the players might have. But this is going to be, it's pretty obvious, this is going to be there. Hardest test yeah. going up against the Warriors side, who have been very unlucky. Unlucky in love and unlucky on the field. Crap stat for me, tourists, please. I've got a crap stat for you for you same game multi lovers. What are you really gambling with? Crap stat. Okay, Brian, how many players in this competition do you think have scored at least one try in both rounds so far of the whole comp? Um, oh, this is a trick question. None. No, 13. Oh. <laughs> how, how many of the 13 are from Canberra? Six. Four. Okay. Do you know who the four are? Uh, I would say Jordan Rappiner. Correct. I would say Batted Sav. Yep. I would say Hudson Young. Nope. We're going to catch up with Hudson Young in a little bit oh, later. Oh, the mule. The mule. 
The a- and the, the fourth one, I yeah. reckon he's one of the most improved players in the competition at the moment. Fogarty? No. In the spine. Ah, uh, oh, Danny Levi. Danny Levi. 501s. And what are you really gambling with? For free and confidential support, visit gamblinghelponline.org.au. If Lightning was to strike three times and that four-leg same game multi happened again, Mule. you're getting about 340 to one or oh, something. That, that, I'm, I'm, I've got to take a bit now. Could it happen again? Could it happen it again? What are you really gambling David with? David Eskis got, uh, from Bono got struck by Lightning twice within a month. Really? Out in the surf, <laughs> then getting a scallop from Bono Beach. Did he really? Seafood. Yeah. Honestly. Fred Higgum. He's still kicking. What does he say? What happened? Let's get him on. Well, I haven't seen him in 30 years. He was getting a scholar. He might have got hit again. He got. He might. He was out in the surf, got hammered, but he's good. He's all good. And then he was getting a um, a scallop, and he was walking across the grass and got struck again. Wow. Just speaking about scallops. Yeah. Is that good luck or bad luck? Like, do you reckon? Like, you, you live to tell the tale. You've been hit by lightning, lightning twice. Is it good luck or bad it's good luck? Good luck. It's a yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Trivia question down the pub. Mm. Hind Marshes went out for, they came into the east and they went to a restaurant in the east. And Hind Marsh, Nathan Variety, said he got a potato scallop and it was $43. What? I said, what? 43 bucks for a potato scallop. That's ridiculous. I said, mate, what else was on there? He said, it was really nice. He says, I had chicken sold on it. I said, mate, 43 bucks? Yeah. He said, yeah, I thought that was quite expensive. That, that's ridiculous. What about the guy who. What about the clip, uh, speaking of YouTube, which we're on, by the way. Well, if you're going to go search YouTube, uh, look up Joel and Fletch, subscribe to that. But what about the guy who he'd won the scratchy, like won a heap of money? Do you remember this story? No. And then the news come up. and they, Ben Hennett. No, 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 no. The, the news came in. We try and get the clip. And they filmed him. Like, oh, yes. It. I have seen it. And he won again. And he, won 20, and he freaks out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's unbelievable. I like the other one where they were interviewing an American. It was a, at, at the time, it was like the biggest lottery and it was 50 million and the guy goes the guy goes the girl goes and goes oh excuse me i'll just ask this guy he's going to go, what are you going to spend the 50 million live tv and he goes cocaine and hookers <laughs> and he goes oh okay <laughs> okay interview over <laughs> um plenty more still to come there's heaps of rugby league news to follow but we must get to a break uh one three hundred oh one eleven seventy. must we get to a break brooks or no yes no wait there run out Yes, we should. Uh, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to take a break and back with plenty of more. Keep the text coming through. You're supposed to be manning these blinds. I am manning. So and it's if wacky. we're missing any, it's yours. No, no. It's Wacky Team Wednesday, so I need some front rowers. Uh, wh- who have we got here? Lundy, Liam Neeson. If the other team stole the ball, he could definitely get it back. <laughs> he could. He's got a particular set of skills. Yes, the witch is at. Break. one three hundred oh one eleven seventy. Welcome back to the run home with Joel and Fletch. Uh, plenty more still to get to when it comes to the rugby league, Brian, and plenty of texts happening as well. Roosters take you on the Rabbitohs Friday, 8 p.m. It is the rivalry, the Booker feuds. Both teams looking to bounce back after their round three losses. The Rabbitohs looking to avoid an 0 and 3 start. Uh, they've got to find a way. There's two ways this goes, I think. They either win an absolute gallop, the Roosters, or Latrell. White and Cody just come up with the day of their lives. What, how do yeah, you it see won't be, it won't it won't be a uh, it'll be very close. It won't be a shellacking. Right. Now I'm just hoping that f- for the bunny's sake they pull it back a little bit. Yep. And play a very very low risk. Get quick play the balls for young Hawkins. Get his confidence up. Yep. So they can just kick and chase. Since they led the comp last year, Brian, they have won only four of their last 15 games and they're averaging nearly 28 points against. I was going to say. So they were flying. They were averaging 13 up until round 15, was it, last year? 16? And then they went bang, bang, bang. Yep. So it's pretty obvious it's their defence. But I think it's because they're also making these errors in their own half and you can't keep defending in your own half. So... Go back to the old school. Kick long, chase, work from marker, and just see what what will happen. Kiri out. Yep. Smith. Big concern? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, he's a loss to him. Definitely. They get Angus Crichton back in, who invariably always plays good against his old club. He's my Chromie. Angus Crichton to score, ATS. Really? Anytime. Okay. See why Wong's been dropped, Ryan. Yeah. See why Wong, which I don't think he played too badly, but I've got uh, I've got some mail for you too. Mm. Um, I've got some mail that the hammer was this close to being dropped last week, this close for that kick. No, before the game. Oh, he was that close to being dropped, and being I think naughty. he may have even been just he, he was having a shocker at training. They said, "Mate, just have tools down." Comes into the side, 
and has an absolute blinder. But he was always named. Always named, but he was this close to being named as 18th okay. man. That's my mail, Brian. Good mail. Connor you... Watson comes onto the bench for his first uh, game since 2022. Jack Whiten, of course, to make his Rabbitohs debut. Dean Hawkins comes in for Lockie Ilias. I think he's hard done by, but uh, this game may tell another story. This is what I want to talk about. This is what I want to talk about. There are two players left for Trent Robinson's 2013 grand final winning squad. One is Daniel Tupu. And one is Jared Warrior Hargreaves, who plays game 300, Brian. He made yeah. his debut in 2009 for Manly. Jared, what a career. Like, seriously, what a career. Unbelievable. Came over from Manly uh, 2010. And he was the... Who's mad? Who's someone who's just off the bit now who you can compare to? You know, he was just like a... He was just that loose where he sort of... I remember he give, he give it to... Um, Fui Fui Moi Moi in a test. Uh, uh, sorry, not Fui. Uh, Petro Sivanasiva. Yes. He gave it to Petro in a test when he was only a baby. So to play 300 games in the front row, you know, the hardest position on the field, it is a credit to him. So the Roosters do milestone games, not as good as Melbourne, but I think that might get him over there. Well, this is a double milestone according to Wikipedia. So as of the 17th of March 2024, there have been 49 players who have played 300 games. So, according to this, he will oh, be the 50th. 50th. How many front rowers? I can That's think what of I was going to think of. Jeff like, Gerrard? I can think of um, Jeff Rowe Gerrard. I can think of... So, so Gal's not considered a middle... Is he considered not, really, not a front rower? Not no, a front rower. No. Um, he played his career in the back row. Okay. Corey Parker. No, he was a lock. He was a lock. Yeah. Not many. Um, Hindy back rower. Jeff Gerrard. Where was Jeff Gerrard? Front rower. Front rower. Definitely. Jeff Gerrard. Okay. And... Jesse Bromwich is oh, in yes. the club. 300. Aiden Tolman's in the club. There you go. Aiden Tolman's in the club. Um, Steve Price is in the club. In the club. But there's not many. There's not many front rowers. James Tamo. Um, there's a few. Semi Thide. I thought that I. Uh, 50% of the 300 club are front rowers. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not. I'd love to know the positions, actually. I could go through that a little bit later on. Um, actually, my young bloke were listening last night to Sports Day, Sats and the Rat. And I was sort of preoccupied thinking about something else. And I know what you're thinking about. Yeah. Sleep mask. Sleep mask. Enjoy your life. <laughs> awesome. I can't wait to put these on. So, Why is there a whip in here? The young bloke starts laughing his head off. And I said, what are you laughing at? He said, oh, oh Sat said, uh, Dad, Jared is uh, playing 300 games, but he'd be playing 400 if he didn't get suspended so much. So pretty right. That, is, pretty, that is a good call. Pretty right. And his injuries too. He had bad hemis. We well, yep. just would have done it earlier. This is not going to fit my head. No. Um, Far out. I reckon Jared Croker might have been the last to join the club. Brian? Jared Croker. Yep, last year. I think. Uh, Bulldogs, Titans. Okay, we're getting the run up here from the Tourist. Uh, both teams desperately looking for their first win. And the loser of this, and I hate to say it, Brian, so early in the year, but they are going to be trimmed in for downtown Spoonville, yep. aren't they? Yep. Uh, um, I've gone dogs. Yeah, I've gone. I've, I've gone the dogs just on their sixty minutes of defence I saw last week. Yes, that's all I'm going going it on. I know they've got some attacking prowess down the left side, but I thought they they were getting off their line. They were excited down mm-hmm. there in Shark Park, back home at Belmore Oval. Fingers crossed because they're fast becoming my second, third favourite team. Okay, if you're sitting at the end of the field, no matter what you do, sit in the right corner because Titans are going to be hunting left to yep. Camp Pereira. They're hunting left to. Kick out, uh, Stephen Crichton. Yep. And so if you're behind the post, get there yourself goes. a good seat in the right-hand side. Yeah, good. Good idea. I just think I'm, I'm going the Titans, Brian, just because I just think foreign coming back will make a huge yeah, difference. Off the bike. And just I think they've got the better pack. Okay. I think they've got well, the better pack. Well, the proof will be in the pudding. Pwasa Farmacili, that was unfortunate. He was knocked out in the first play of the game, wasn't he? Yeah, or one of the first. The I don't understand. See, see on that, right? Why didn't Cam McGuinness go have to go to a HIA? Yeah, I he, think. Did the independent – because he got, just got up. Yeah. They're saying that – why didn't he have 15 minutes off? And it was you could, it was clear as day. It was yeah. a head clash. Yeah, well, that's – I don't know. Liam Knight because to he start just for sort of, Sorry. Go, go. No, 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 sorry. Um, Max King plays game 100. So, well done to Max King. Just uh, recently extended or is looking to extend his contract. Phil Sami has scored in each of his previous five games against the Dogs. So, he likes playing them. Phil Sami. Dragons take on the Cowboys – Sunday afternoon, Cogra is the game. It's their first game for 2024 at Cogra. A big win, of course, in their first game of the year, the Dragons. Uh, the Cowboys have not started a season 
3-0 and since 2007. Jack DeBella moves into front row for the suspended Frankie Molo. Is that a big change for Jack? He'll be nah, right. Nah, he'll be right. The big, it's a big out, though. I, I think Jacob Little's been really good for them. Yeah, Jesse Maskey to make his NRL debut. So what about Connor Malizan? Has he been leapfrogged or is he also injured? Uh, he's on the bench, isn't he? He's, he's stayed on the Judith. I think is he, he may have bench? done that. Kulikefu Finafawaki, we like him, Brian. We love him. We love him. He's a, they're stacked with back rowers, aren't they? Yeah. Michael L- Lukey is six-week job. Heal him for the ankle. Yeah, he's out. Uh, West Tigers take on the Sharks. You know what I'm feeling, Brian? Do you remember the Dolphins who were a little bit lacklustre in round one? Yep. Then they turn up for their first game at home. There was a real energy about the crowd. And then all of a sudden, they come up with a famous stamping win over a team who came in with red-hot form. Could the West Tigers at Leichhardt, their last appearance, 20th of May, 2023 at Leichhardt, where they absolutely trounced the Cowboys and put 66 points on. I, Could they do something here? No. <laughs> Sorry. No. Not yet. No. Not yet. Just they're sort of just fumbling their way through at the moment. They don't really have an identity of how they're playing. But mm. well, the two tries they scored were a bit of brilliance by those two kids. Yep. It wasn't planned. No. Then the other one, Appy just ran from dummy half and did it all himself. So they're not going to trouble the Sharks defensively, They've I They've only think. conceded three tries, the Sharks. So I'm just thinking, yeah, it's Buller and this kid, Galvin. Galvin. So they're going to be eyes up on I, them. I've got a feeling he's in for a big day. How many how many years since the Sharks have won their first three games, Brian? I will say 2000. 2002, close. Uh, Olam comes into the side. Aiden Caesar in for Jaden Sullivan. Billy Burns onto the interchange. Eels take on the Seagulls. The Eagles are looking for 3-0. and They did start 2-0 and last year, I think you'll find, didn't they? I think they flew out of the gates. They were the uh, pre-season champs as well. Eels coming off a tough loss to Panthers. I, I do believe in that game, though, Brian, the Panthers. I know the scoreline was a bit closer, but I feel like the Panthers had a lot of opportunities in that game. Blaze Talungi. You would like Blaze. To play his NRL debut. Not a big kid, but lightning quick. Um, Ray Vega named on the wing for Tommy Talao. And uh, it's the third right winger this season. What's that, up, Tommy? Uh, no, Tommy's just been... Uh, Tommy's out injured. Yeah, he couldn't have been dropped. So Paulo's back into the side. Yeah. Paulo's back Paulo into the played. side. Paulo played. Jackson Paul- Barlow played oh, last week. Okay, sorry. Talao's Tom- out of the Talao's game. Out. And uh, Tommy... Uh, Raymond's in. Raymond's in. Raymond's in. Raymond, Raymond loves Mr. Whippy too. Well, Ray- Raymond... Raymond uh, so you've got Morgan Harper and Young Blaze together. So that might be a target, the right hand. So they love their left-hand side mainly, but maybe that's going to be a target. Knights take on the Storm. And Regan Campbell-Gillard, congratulations on Game 200, I should say, as well. Knights of the Storm, McDonald Jones Stadium. They have to win this, the Newcastle Knights. They just have to. Storm have won 11 of the past 12 in this clash. But they just have to find a way. They've rolled the dice. Cogger's come out to play. He's going to be there with Tyson Gamble, Brian. No Munster, no Hughes, no Nelson. If you can't win this game, yep. Melbourne Storm's first away game of the year, you just can't be a factor. You have to win this game. I think they are morals. Yeah, I do too. Knights are morals. I think so. I think so too. Uh, but there's some good players in this uh Melbourne Storm side, of course. Uh, all roads leave to Tyron Wishart, Wishart rather, Tyron Wishart and uh, Jonah Pezzett. So uh, two players in the half, sons of former NRL players. Of course, Xavier coached 13 tries from his past 13 games, so he's in a mood as well. The run home thanks to Hyundai Staria Load Van, fits and everything. Uh, Amy's coming up with the news, but if you've missed any of that, of course, it will be waiting for you on the YouTube page. Subscribe to that, The Run Home with Joel and Fletch.